Hello and welcome to the penultimate episode of this monthly exclusive series. This is a double episode since I've skipped a month. Today's group is DG. A lot of people requested me to review individual items at a time, but I've decided to just put all of them in one because they're really short and there's only one or two items each channel. By the way, these items didn't really change much since they've launched. Apart from DG Sport, so let's start on that. I'm sorry, why is this the most popular DG brand channel? Their items are cheaper than gas prices. There's no creativity, no excitement, no nothing. It's also short, and there's barely any music playing. This is worse than Antenna 1's rebrand, which we'll discuss later. Overall, please make an effort next time. Look at the launch items. That's your inspiration. But anyway, enough of that. Let's see another cinema channel film now. Okay. Not that much effort put into that either. I see that the background looks kind of like a theater, but there's no real difference. And by the way, this is a template, because that item style is used to the predecessor channel DG Film. Do you see a difference? For me, no. Unfortunately, this is another disappointment. Can DG Live disappoint me even more? Let's watch the item to see it for ourselves. some creativity. I don't get the color letters though. Does that symbolize the colors of nature or something? Because that's what I'm faking. Anyway, I like the bird in the corner flying around doing basically nothing. It's hilarious and kind of sad at the same time. Not bad for DG Life. It's better than the others, so I'm counting that as a good ident. Next up on the entourage of DG branded channels, we have DG World. I don't get his side and style. Maybe the smoke has to do with the nature aspect, because the world produces a lot of fumes. That's my only reason anyway. But there's no real meaning to this item at all. I think they just wanted an item with their logo and that's pretty much it. Which is acceptable, but it has to have a meaning. However, I do like the animations in the ident. Um, However, I do like the animations of the item logo at the end. That's something creative. Next though, we have DG Animal World. These channels, man. I don't know the difference between DG Live, World, and Animal World. And why do you need free channels all about the nature and the world? There's gotta be another solution, rather than making free channels for one purpose. Let's move on. Again, we have a similar issue as the last channel. They just make an ident with their logo without any meaning. Again, it's acceptable with a meaning behind it. And something creative, like with DG Life, for example. If this channel is all about animals, why didn't you put in an animal right next to the logo? That would make the side end and the channel itself have more sense. And last but not least, DG Dose Chipatro, which is national. Okay, now this is interesting. We have a lot of objects moving along, the most predominant object being the globe that every European channel use, and I still don't get why, and then the logo, followed by the text commercial break or promo. This has more effect than any other channel on this list, but then again, it's not my favorite, especially with the globe and everything. 
We're done with the DG branded channels, but let's see the other channels that don't have the DG branding. If you didn't know, DG owns a lot of channels, including Hola TV apparently. They're music channels for some reason. I already reviewed one of the channels, so let's start on that. This is interesting. We have, I presumably say, glow sticks, and the speaker is attracting the sticks like a magnet. We also have small bubbles, maybe added as a decoration. I quite like it, even though it looks like science fiction going on. The next channel is in its name, Music Channel. <laughs> I think we see the pattern in these idents. They were made to be an ident and that's it. There's a lot of elements on screen that don't correspond to anything music related and it's just very generic. But finally, let's check out the hit music channel. Yes, this is a real name. Just like the other channel, there's a lot of elements that don't correspond with the music genre. I mean, there's technically one thing, the microphone, so that's something, but it isn't really that special if I'm honest. In conclusion, they have too many music channels and too many disappointments, especially in the DG branded channels. I think they just combine three nature channels into one, remove all music channels and have a better budget for their items. Like seriously, they're so bland and generic. Why? But that's enough. Thank you for watching this episode. If you like it, why not check out the other videos in this playlist on screen. Until a new episode launches, we'll see you on the final episode of Mega Rodents this year.